Music and painting seem natural companions, one art underscoring and enhancing the other, a marriage of ethereal beauty. Such a union becomes awe-inspiring, however, when the creator in both disciplines is one and the same. This is the case with Jean-Marie Douave, a world-class cellist who was also a renowned contemporary painter. Equally at home in the worlds of music and art, he is a dual master who uses the gifts of one discipline to feed and nurture the other. Every morning, Douave picks up his cello for two hours of practice. In the afternoon or at night, he turns to painting for four and six hours every day. No Sundays off, no vacations, he works every day. Dwov's work ethic goes a long way toward explaining his mastery in both artistic fields, but the roots of his double talent seem firmly planted in his family and background. Dwov was born in 1952 in the Charente Maritime region of France. His mother was passionate about opera and accompanied herself on the piano while practicing her singing, even during her pregnancy. Dwav believes that he heard and felt her beautiful melodies even in the womb and that this early exposure helped develop his musical ear. Dwav's father had a great love for sculpture and art. His family tree included a number of artists and aficionados. Those factors apparently stimulated an early interest in visual art. At the age of three, Dwav started drawing and painting. By nine, he had completed his first work in oil. In those same early years, Dwav had the chance to meet famed cellist Pablo Casals and hear him play. Captivated, the young boy decided to become a cellist and started taking lessons from Robert Salles, a cellist with France's ORTF Quartet. Dwav subsequently studied with Carlo Jesse at the La Rochelle Conservatory of Music and with Erwin Fauré. By 1971, he had enrolled in the prestigious Conservatoire National Supérieur de Musique in Paris, where he studied under the renowned Bernard Michelin. Despite his rigorous musical studies, Dwav also found time to nurture his painting skills. After meeting surrealist artist Salvador Dali in 1977, the young musician enrolled in L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts. From 1976 to 1977, Dwav served as principal cellist with the UNESCO Orchestra in Paris, while simultaneously continuing his study of chamber music with the Paranin Quartet. Soon he was performing with orchestras and smaller chamber groups throughout Europe, Tunisia, and North and South America. Dwav settled in Palm Beach, Florida, where he continues to share his dual talents. He is particularly adept at organizing art happenings that involve both music and visual art. Often these events raise funds for worthy local causes. The events also mirror the activity that takes place in Dwav's studio nearly every day. When he paints, there is always music playing in the background. He is fond of Rachmaninoff, Prokofiev, Dvorak, Saint-Saëns, Beethoven, Schumann, and Brahms. Those preferences frequently show up in the concerts in which Dwav performs. A concert with the Hallandale Orchestra, for instance, featured Brahms' concerto for violin, cello, and orchestra. Appearing with Dwav at this concert was Meme Luo, one of South Florida's finest violinists. The founding first violinist of the acclaimed Delray String Quartet, Lo is concert master of Orchestra Miami and the South Florida Philharmonic Orchestra.
Zouave will sometimes join forces with a fellow cellist, as was the case with the South Florida concert that paired him with Alexander Ivashkin. Like Dwarve, Ivashkin has developed an international reputation, having performed with leading orchestras in Europe, the United States, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. And like Dwarve, Ivashkin benefited from noted mentors. In Ivashkin's case, conductor-composer Mstislav Rostropovich played a guiding role. The two cellists performed Schubert's Progeria, as well as an excerpt from Glazunov's ballet, Ramonda. At a third Florida concert, Dwarve performed David Popper's Tarantella with the Coral Springs Orchestra. Even as he delights concert goers with his captivating music, Dwarf continues to create impressionistic paintings that seem to dance to an internal rhythm. Watching Dwarf's hands move across the canvas is as fascinating as watching his fingers on his cello. The result creates a lasting impact that makes this seem the most natural of combinations. And that is precisely the magic this dual master is capable of weaving. Whether on his cello or in his paintings, Jean-Marie Douave brings beauty to light.